So I wanted to take this opportunity to really talk about, I guess, my general feelings on the college football playoff. And although I do think it is a better system than the way in which it used to be, and you felt like every year you'd go at home and they'd have the entire kind of release where here are all the bowl games and who's going to be in what, and teams would be waiting and fans would be waiting, and we didn't really know who was going to be in the basically championship at the end of the year, the BCS championship. You had you know the Sugar Bowl and you had the Cotton Bowl and you had all these things and you thought, well... Okay, we know who's in the national championship, but which one of these bowl games holds more weight than the other? How can we really decide the best teams in the country? Now, the college football playoff, in my opinion, is smart for a couple of reasons because it does allow for a playoff. And if college football knows anything, it knows how to make money and it knows how to utilize its best organizations, or I should say programs, but they're basically organizations, franchises. So they've taken the best four teams. So Every single week, we have this entire discussion in the world of sports where we say, okay, who are the top four teams? Who's who's top four this week? Who's top four that week? And I think the issue I've had with it over the last couple months is that we end up only talking about four to six teams, and we've seemingly forgotten about the rest of the country. Now, maybe three to four years ago, if number 16 ranked Florida State was playing number oh, I don't know, 14 ranked Missouri, I would have been interested. But now, because all of our rhetoric is completely devoted to this college football playoff and the top four teams, why do I care about those other ranked teams? Why do I care about the other 21 ranked teams in the top 25? I really don't anymore because the entire discussion centers on those four teams. And frankly, it's a bit annoying when every single week all I hear about is Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, Michigan. And you can throw Washington in there. You can maybe throw Wisconsin or Penn State. But we've really kind of narrowed it down to just those teams. And I think it's, I think it does a disservice to all those top 25 teams. It used to be a big deal to be ranked in the top 25, and we would talk about that. But now at the college football playoff, if they don't think you're going to make the top four, why are you even brought up in discussion? And I think that's the problem I have with it. Now, obviously, it's different than the NFL, but I can't even imagine having a weekly release where we discuss the top four teams that may or may not go into the playoffs. It would drive me insane. It would just be so ludicrous to do that. Now, it is different with college football because everyone in the NFL is good. Anybody can beat anybody unless maybe, of course, you're the Cleveland Browns, you're 0-12, and it doesn't look like you can win a single game. But I will say this. It's hard for me to just sit there and watch it happen because it's so political and there's 12 people sitting in a room and deciding on this and you know they're biased towards their own specific conferences or what other political BS they may be involved with and there's going to be human error in it. I don't think it's perfect but as of right now, if the college football playoff were to start, I think they'd probably have it right and right now they have it as Alabama number one, Clemson number two, excuse me, Ohio State number two, Clemson number three, and Washington at number four. Now, I would say just from a general eye test, I would like to throw Michigan in there. I do think they're a top four team in the country. Yes, they did lose to Ohio State, but they were dominating the entire time. They just couldn't finish. And frankly, the quarterback play is just not good enough with Spade. But they do have a great defense. And they did beat Penn State very, very handedly, who Ohio State lost to. But now you look at it and you say, well, we can't let them in because they've got the two losses. They've lost to Iowa. They couldn't score 15 points there. And they've lost to Ohio State. So they have two losses. Can they be in the top four? And when you get into all this discussion about who should be in and who shouldn't, well, is it going to come down to conference championships? Is it going to come down to, you know, what was your best loss? And it's very complicating. And I think we have to be careful with this college football playoff because the more and more we just discuss the top four teams, the less and less appreciated these other programs are going to feel. And I don't think it's a smart thing to continue to do that. And now people are discussing expanding it, making it an 18 playoff. I don't know if we're quite ready for that. As of right now, I like the formula. I think it makes it much more entertaining to have that semifinal game before the national championship. But I will say this, if college football isn't careful, a lot of programs are going to feel like they just aren't given a chance. And if the same type of four teams are going to be discussed year after year after year, then those teams are going to have a better chance to recruit. Those teams are going to have a better chance to get the best players in the country, and they will remain atop their conferences. They will remain atop their top rankings in the country. 
And I think that's why a school like Alabama has stayed so relevant. Nick Saban understands the power of making it to those national championships and not just making it there, but winning and having that tradition of winning and you can bring in more recruits. But you need to be careful. And the only issue I have is that every single week we want to talk about the top four teams. I want to talk about it when it's all said and done, when there are no more games left. What can we look at? Let me look at schedules. Let me look at difficulty of schedule. Let me look at how you beat teams, where you beat them. Were you home? Were you away? And I think we need to look at it more that way. And it, and I understand it. It makes for great conversation. And that's what keeps sports media running is having these topics to discuss the what ifs. But we need to be careful at some point. 